Hello and welcome to this video presentation of Arcade, an extensible workbench for architecture recovery, change, and decay evaluation. My name is Marcelo Schmidt Lazar. Arcade is an automated architectural analysis workbench. That is, it allows a deeper understanding of a software system's architecture, which is crucial for managing that system's evolution. It gives architects the tools necessary to do things such as detect parts of the system that might be more prone to issues or change, to predict parts of the system that may become hotspots for issues, or if one is not the original architect of the system, or if one needs a refresher on a system that they haven't worked on in a long time, by recovering models of that system's architecture based on its implementation artifacts. Architectural analysis can be divided into five principal tasks or stages, recovery, decay detection, measurement, visualization, and prediction. For each one of these five stages, there are several tools and techniques that are state of the art for that particular task. However, none so far can perform all five tasks. Furthermore, the existing tools are difficult to use out of the box, to adapt and to combine into something that will do the full architectural analysis process. This is because they might use different file or data formats, they might be implemented in different languages, or they might even require different system configurations. To fill that gap, we're presenting Arcade, an extensible research workbench for architectural analysis that has been developed over the past 10 or so years. Arcade incorporates several existing state-of-the-art techniques for each one of the five principal architecture analysis tasks. It's made up of around 50,000 significant lines of code in four different programming languages spread across about 450 files. Arcade has been deployed at over 20 research groups and three large companies to our knowledge, and within our group, has been used in the analysis of nearly a thousand versions of over 50 software systems, totaling around 500 millions of lines of code that have been analyzed. The first task performed by Arcade is architectural recovery, the extraction of a software system's as implemented architecture, that is its descriptive architecture. This is important because the as documented or prescriptive architecture might be unreliable for reasons such as obscuring certain implementation details, not being kept up to date, or just the challenges of tracing implement implementation changes back to the documentation. There are situations where there might not even be a documentation for the architecture, in which case the recovered architectural models might be the only ones an engineer has access to. As an example, we have the prescriptive and descriptive architectures of IRONS, an open source data management software. As you can see, the prescriptive architecture is clear cut, concise, and might be helpful in understanding the intentions of the architect. However, it does not represent the actual implementation of the system. Arcade incorporates nine state-of-the-art architectural recovery techniques, and others can be implemented as extensions by the user if necessary. This is important because different architectural recovery techniques might focus on different characteristics and might have different levels of accuracy. For example, here we have the bash manually recovered architecture on the left side and on the right, it's architecture as recovered by Bunch, ACDC and ZBR, three of the nine techniques that, a, that Arcade has available. The second task performed by Arcade is architectural decay detection. 
Architectural decay is made up of two different phenomena, drift and erosion, which are deviations and violations from the envisioned or prescriptive architecture. This decay can manifest in various different ways, but the main ones are architectural smells, anti-patterns, and debt. It's important to differentiate these manifestations from the more commonly studied code smells, design anti-patterns, and technical debt. There are several tools that focus on these characteristics, but Arcade focuses on their architectural counterparts. Arcade focuses on the detection of architectural smells and is able to detect 12 different types across four categories, interface, change, dependency, and concern-based smells. Each category requires different characteristics to be present in the models and therefore might require that the user apply specific recovery techniques to be able to detect that category. For example, one cannot detect concern-based smells using the model generated by ACDC, as that model does not include information about concerns. Being able to detect manifestations of architectural decay is of great practical value. For example, previous empirical studies have shown that smelly files, that is, files involved in architectural smells, are significantly more prone to issues and to change over the evolution of that software system. Now, how does one execute recovery and decay detection in Arcade? Well, given the goal of Arcade of being a unified tool for running all five tasks of architectural analysis, we've combined recovery and decay detection into a single execution flow. First, the user provides a directory structure including all versions of the system they wish to analyze, and for each version must provide the source code and compiled binaries, such as java.class files. Then, the user may run the executable off Arcade using the command prompt, providing that directory as input, and Arcade will output a list of RSF and SER files for the clusters, dependencies, and smells of each one of those versions. Recovery and decay detection provide very detailed models of a software system's architecture, but sometimes it's important to take all of those details and quantify them into precise indicators of certain characteristics. For that, Arcade performs the measurement task by applying metrics of two types, system and component level for comparing entire architectures or comparing individual clusters. This allows an engineer to identify specific characteristics of the system and allows comparative studies of different decay detection and recovery techniques. As an example of applying the measurement task, here is a chart displaying the average A2A values between versions for the major, min major, minor, and patch versions of Ivy, Lucene, and JSP Wiki. A2A is a metric that compares two architectures by using a certain set of fundamental operations and identifies how similar the two architectures are. As you can see in the chart, between minor and patch versions, all three systems maintain mostly the same architecture. However, between major and mean major versions, Lucene and JSP Wiki are practically new systems entirely, whereas Ivy, at least for mean major versions, remains more or less stable. The fourth task performed by Arcade is visualization. The previous tasks generally output raw or structured text, which is not human friendly. On the left side, for example, we have a clusters RSF file, and to the right, a smells SCR file, which is a type of XML. Neither of these is easy to understand, and these are just snapshots of some of these types of files. The files themselves 
can reach up to thousands or even tens of thousands of lines. The largest one I've personally seen was a smells file of 87,000 lines, which is essentially impossible to understand. Arcade offers two visualization tools, Eva and Arcade Viz. The first, Evolution Visualization for Architectures, is focused on representing change in order to aid engineers in analyzing and understanding their system's architecture. To do this, Eva provides three different views. The first, single version architecture, shows a snapshot of the system at a single point in time. As you can see, the larger circles represent clusters and the smaller circles represent implementation entities which are color-coded according to the modules which they are from, such as namespaces in C and C++, and packages in Java. The second, shown here on the left, is the 3D architecture evolution view, which shows subsequent versions as a stack of layers. The implementation entities that have been changed between those versions represented by the layers are highlighted and hovering over them will show a line which traces the components on, and inside of which that entity was in each version. On the right, we have the pairwise architecture comparison view, which shows which implementation entities have been added, removed, moved or changed between a pair of subsequent versions. The second visualization tool provided in Arcade is Arcade Viz, which focuses on decay and offers four different views, dependencies, smells, components, and interfaces. In the dependencies view, one is able to hover over the names of individual components to see color-coded lines representing incoming and outgoing added and removed dependencies between two subsequent versions of the system. In the smells view, one is still able to see the incoming and outgoing dependencies of a single version, but is also able to select the names of individual types of smells which will highlight the components involved in those smells. For the components view, one is able to see added, changed, removed, and unchanged components between versions. And in the interfaces view, one is able to see an overview of implementation entities for a set of components, and by zooming in on one of those components, is able to see removed, added, and changed interfaces in those entities. For changed interfaces, one is also given the list of all of those changes. The fifth task of architectural analysis performed by Arcade is prediction. The other four tasks focus on obtaining results to give a snapshot of the system at given times or to evaluate the decay and change over the history of the system. Prediction attempts to leverage those results to generate models of what the architecture may look like in the future. This helps engineers focus their efforts on entities with the highest architectural relevance. Arcade currently implements two prediction techniques, which are works in progress with solid preliminary results. The first one, leverages historical smell density to predict issue and change prone proneness of individual implementation artifacts. The second leverages historical data from issues to predict the architectural significance of new issues and allow the engineers to understand what kinds of efforts might be needed to resolve them. In conclusion, Arcade performs all five of the principal tasks of architectural analysis by incorporating several state-of-the-art techniques for each one of those tasks and allowing engineers to extend it with new techniques should that be necessary. 
Arcade has been applied in numerous large empirical studies over the years and was instrumental in the development of at least four PhD dissertations and one master's thesis. Arcade is publicly available at the link on screen now. Thank you very much for watching this video presentation. My name is Marcelo Schmidt-Lazar and feel free to contact us for more information.